Hi everyone, my name is Marcin and today I want to show you the walkthrough through my last retouch, which I think was um, really well done and I made a course about this, I made a premium course, so if you want to get this, you can get this with a really huge discount, 84% on Udemy. The only one thing you have to do is go to the Udemy and put this link into your browser and as you can see here's my course I just launched it and right now I've got 18 uh, reviews and which were really good reviews I post this to f some people and I had I got I post this to some of the people and I got really nice feedback the price is nine dollars right now it's showing 10 euros but um, the price if it's in dollars it's nine dollars and the main price is 59 dollars so it's a bit different the link is in the description if you are interested in and right now let's go to the our retouch and i'm going to open this group as you can see that was the image before and that's the after the retouch so it's really huge difference but i want to show you everything start from the beginning so I'm going to turn off the groups and go to the this correct group. Okay, that's um, the basic point where we started. So as you can notice, I started this retouch from frequency separation. Of course, uh, there's some more elements in frequency separation than you can find in most of the videos. I started with this basic step, which you can notice I fixed the um, tones and details of the image to make this skin a bit soften and to even out the skin texture a little bit without destroying it so that was before and that's after of course as i said before it wasn't our final step and there was a lot of tones to fix so i fixed the tones using at first the brush painting with color between the layers between the detail layer and color layer as you can see it's a really nice difference it was really bad before so that was the main step I would say in frequency separation and except that I had some not really nice shadows so I decided to use clone stamp tool a very soft clone stamp tool and lighten to brighten the up some of the shadow areas so as you can see the frequency separation step was really long and I was working mostly between the layers which is the most important I think so that was before and after let's close this and the next step i decided to retouch the hair i removed the background hair here in this spot i had a lot of hair and i don't think it really looked well i prefer to keep it simple so i just removed the hair from the background retouched them a little bit over here uh, not too much to keep this look natural and that was the final look so that was the basic uh, correction area then i shaped the face a little bit i didn't like the shape i wanted to pull it up a little bit it was quite roundy face and i wanted to add just a bit more sharp and a bit more dynamic so i pull up this area as you can see so i think it looks so much better then i went to the lip retouch and once again here was um, just a few uh, elements because at first I did some of the lip retouch to get off of these bright areas which didn't look so well really maybe I'm going to zoom this just a little bit so first of all what I did so first of all what I did about the lips I changed the shape as you can see before it was really bad we didn't have the nice shape it was going down over here so i decided to shave the lips a little bit and it looks so much better before it wasn't huge change it was just making them look really nice 
then I wanted to get off of this shiny parts over here which they didn't look really nice the ellipses were just dry so i sorted this out to make something like this then i did some frequency separation on the lips but i was using frequency separation only to paint them and um, frequency separation actually allows you to add very natural color without affecting the texture of the lips so i think it's um, a really good idea then I was working a little bit with the contours. As you can see, we had some bright areas over here, so it was necessary to fix them. So that was the work with contours. And as you can see, the skin around the lips looks so much better. As I get off of some glossness, I decided to add some gloss at the end to make this look natural and amazing. After the lips, I went to the eyes. So just going to zoom this out that was before and that was after so once again let's open the group there was few elements and first thing I've done was of course shape of the eyes they were quite all right but I just wanted to show you how to make them bigger so I decided to work with the shape of the eyes just a little bit some of the models has really small eyes and people want them a bit bigger so for sure you will get the knowledge of this from this course then i retouched the veins a little bit but i kept some control i didn't want to remove them totally because i wanted to keep the natural look when we zoom this in you can see what i did i removed the veins but not all of them some the so the eyes still look very natural after this, I did such a basic step like sharpen them a little bit, then brighten them, which looks really amazing and natural still. And the main part, which I really like, I showed you quite simple way how to paint eyelashes. So that's before, as you can see, I created few layers over here. So that's before and that's after. The eyelashes look very natural and the eyes, because of this, look so much better. After that, I showed you a really simple step, how you can retouch the nails, how you can make them a bit soften and a bit better. Let's have a look. So that's how it looks before and that's how it looks after. You have to say small step, so I won't be talking much about this, of course, then. I was showing you how to dutch, dutch and burn the image, how to do local dutch and burn, as well as how to do global dutch and burn. So that's the image before and that's after. As you can see, when we open this, we have contours and fixes. Contours are global dutch and burn and fixes are local. From the distance, it's really difficult to see, but when I'm going to zoom into some area, I believe you're going to see some difference. That was before, for example, here we had some really rough area and that's after I removed this. Similar spots we have somewhere over here, before, after. So it's very important step for sure. Then of course, contours to make this image really dynamic. Sharpening, which I always do which is kind of optional. If you don't want, you don't have. And of course, at the end, I make this image just look amazing using very simple final adjustments. So that's how my retouch looks like. We walk through. Uh, I believe this could convince you that it's really worth to get this course, especially for such a good price. If you have any questions, you can just message me everywhere here or on Udemy or on Facebook. So. Remember, if you want to learn really advanced retouching techniques in Photoshop, you should get this course. Uh, right now, it's discounted price, as you can see, 85% off uh, for my YouTube viewers. And I'm waiting for your feedback. Thank you for watching this. Soon, I'm going to show you more uh, free tutorials. Of course, I'm preparing some more premium courses as well, so I believe you won't be disappointed. Thank you and see you soon.